Good evening. I hope I'm on back at the gym, prepping, getting some time away. Hello. I hope you guys are out there. There's YouTube. And if you guys don't join me now, hopefully you can do it anytime after this. I know it's dinner time and you're getting ready for the fourth. Hopefully doing something fun and safe. I realize it's a little dark in here. I should have brought a spotlight. All right, let's see who's here. Somebody say hi, somebody give me a high five. Or um, just be silent and I can talk to myself like normal. I'm good at that, right? Okay, anybody, I see that there's people, but nobody's saying anything. You're probably laying down on the mat saying, okay, let's get started, I don't need to text or write to you. All right, let me just make sure I am up. Okay, come on, let's see what we got. Because Tom posted that lovely picture of me doing I don't know what, but maybe it got your guys' attention. Okay, it says people are on. We're gonna go for it. Hey, Donna, thank you. I saw that you need this. Yes, we're gonna work hard, but we're gonna stretch, like I always do, make sure we're even balanced, ready for a good weekend. All right, so I got no other news, I guess. Uh, let's get started. We're gonna just sit up tall, don't lay down yet, because once you lay down, you, you go away. I got a nice bright nap. I thought it would be fun, kind of holes for the summer. I didn't shut the doors, but if you come alone. All right, so I want you to sit Indian style, sorry, crisscross applesauce, or any way that's gonna sit you up. If you want to put a blanket underneath you, or I'm in the inner circle. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, something that just props you up. If that's not comfortable, you can even do your legs here, sit up on your knees, whatever's good. All right, and all I want you to do is just some nice neck stretches. I used to think that they weren't, I'm just gonna take your hand where I talk to you. And just, I don't want you to pull. I'm not putting a lot of pressure, I'm just giving you a little bit of weight. And I realize we need to do this kind of stuff because we're getting tired through this four month process. And it's very important that we give each other, forgive ourselves. Now I want you to look at your armpit as I'm still babbling, or look at your knee. I want you guys, it's the self-care. I know you can't get massages yet or you know body work done, so it's very important that you guys take your time to recover. So whether you do this with us live, as you see, I'm switching to their side. So much to say. I haven't had any adults around me today, so I'll probably be talking a lot, hoping that you guys are all listening to me, unlike my children all day. Looking to the armpit. So yes, it's very important that you guys stretch and recover because I know we used to be so busy in our lives that we didn't have time to stretch. Now we have no excuse and now it's very important that we stay healthy. So now I want you to lean over, try and get that forearm down, take the opposite hand and reach all the way to the opposite wall. But as I'm reaching here, I'm pushing this hip down, right? So I'm lengthening the whole side of my torso and I want you to take a nice deep breath as you inhale, kind of rotate to the sky. As you exhale, look over the shoulder. So again, a lot of movement. I want it very subtle, but I don't want you to just hold a pose. I want you to kind of breathe into it. Do what your body says. Oh, this kind of feels good when I do this. So just kind of get in touch and tune with your body right now. Good. And I want you to go ahead and we're going to switch it up. So place the other forearm on the ground. Try and reach it over. Take the opposite arm. Reach to the wall. Feel tight. As I do that, I'm pushing that opposite hip down into the ground, grounding it. Relax this shoulder, it wants to touch the ear, it's not allowed to. Inhale, look up to the sky. And exhale, look over the shoulder. So again, nice fluid movements. I want you to just kind of move the body. It needs to be very subtle. I want you to just kind of glide around. Feel where you're tight, where you want to work on. And coming all the way up, yes? Take both hands, place them behind the head, and let your head just drop. Again, not a lot of pressure, just a little extra weight, and try to let it go. Try not to fight it. Now I want you to just kind of continue and let the spine go. Breathe. Now release those hands down on the ground, on the mat, and then slowly stack it. Good, you guys. Now I'm just going to lay down with me, but don't get too cozy. Comfy, but we're going to work. We're doing a little five-minute stretch. 
I want to do a little fat last style for you guys just to make it. I know Megan did a nice slow recovery, so I will do a little bit of pull, but I do want you to see a little glow on. Um, hands down by your side, shrug those shoulders up to your ears where they usually are, and that's so sweet. And then glide those fingertips to your toes. Try to really reach them to the toes. One more time. Inhale, slide them up to the ears. And exhale, glide them down. Good. I want you to reach up to the sky now. Now my hands are up to the sky, but I want you to feel your shoulder blades just kind of expand out on the mat. So just spread out along the mat. Now I want you to inhale, shrug up to the sky. You want to reach up, try and touch the sky. And now exhale, let them expand wider. Right? Again, two more. Inhale up. And exhale, let it expand. So again, we're just trying to loosen up that scat. Inhale up. And exhale, expand. Nice, you guys. We're going to go ahead and roll towards me onto your side. So get cozy again. Lots of nice cozy poses. You can uh, support your head with your hand. Your other arm is going to be here. Your knees are together and your hips are stacked. You're going to take this right hand. You're going to inhale up to the sky. Eyes will follow your hand the entire time. Exhale, breathe out. Try to get it all the way to the floor. If it's saying no, don't do that. We're going to do a couple so it's going to loosen you up. Right, so we're going to do two more. Inhale, up to the sky. Now let it go. Exhale, open it all the way up. Let gravity take it. Your hips and knees are pointed towards the screen. You're trying to get that shoulder and hand down to the floor. Close it off. One more time, so you can go a little further. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, let it go. Stretch, breathe. Feel this tightness and try to breathe into the side. And exhale. As I say that to you, it's because that's why I'm feeling it. Good, let's go ahead and switch it over. I have stay facing you. So I'm just facing here, supporting my head, stacking my knees and hips. Left arm straight out in front of me. Inhale up to the sky. Again, let it go. First time might be tight. Don't worry if it touches the floor. Inhale up to the sky and exhale, close it off. Two more. Inhale up and exhale. Breathe. Open up. Try and breathe through that side. Remember, feel your tightness. Try and get deep into those ribs. Inhale up and exhale. Nice, you guys. Good job. We're going to close it off. And we're going to go and lie on back. I can't do it that way for some reason. It feels weird. I always lay this way. Can't do that. Okay, here we go. We're down on our back. We're ready to go. Hand on your lower abs, right below the belly button. So, you know what? I'm going to be silly right now. I'm not silly. But I want you guys, if you're here and you're paying attention to this, I want you to cough. Nobody's going to do six feet distance. Or cover your hand. But when you, <laughs> you go <laughs> that way, you feel this muscle pop up. Now, I do this a lot with beginners to kind of understand their transverse abdominis. So that's our muscle. It's a band across from us, like the puppy pooch. You know, so when... Uh, women have babies, we lose that muscle. So you just bleed out very heavy. I know it's not allowed into a good world, but that's that muscle, and that's what I want you to use as we go into your pelvic tilts. So now I'm pressing my low back in, trying to flatten it in the mat, and then I'm releasing it to that natural curve. And it's just a subtle pelvic tilt, but I'm using that muscle. So you'll feel that tightness as you press your low back in. It's not going into a bridge. So these guys are nice and relaxed right now, and you're here. I know I say it every week, but I try to reiterate it because it's muscle activation. And the more you do it, the more you're going to feel this during other exercises. Yeah, I'm talking way too much. Just breathe. Slow it down. Yes. All right. So we're going to go ahead, open those knees a little wider than your hips, arms out to the side, and you're just going to rock it. Let's just loosen up those hips, right? So we're still stretching. We're not going into our little series yet. I know, uh, in fact, last week we did like four rounds. We're probably going to do two. But you're going to feel it. Don't worry. Last time we did this, I was sore. But in a good way. So this should feel good. Take your time. Let those knees drop. Again, just breathing. Focusing on relaxing your shoulders, your head, your neck. Yes. Good. Perfect. Now we're going to go on to all fours. Our last little stretch. As you know, I like to face you. 
knees and hips are in line, wrists and shoulders are in line. We're just going to go into a quick cat stretch, round your low back, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, and then release to a nice neutral pose. One more time, exhale, round, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, inhale at the top, expand through the scalp, open it up, and then release. Rotation, and then exhale, breathe out as you look up. I don't want this shoulder pinch, so even if you need to keep your hand here, just look up, that's fine. Inhale, scoop in, let it rest there, rotate, let the head rest for a second. Relax the left shoulder, now take it up, opening up the pec and shoulder, giving yourself a nice rotation, keeping those hips forward, the last time. Inhale, breathe, let gravity just take you for a second, and then open you up, nice and slow. Good job, guys. Let's go into a cat stretch. Belly button is fine. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. And release to a nice neutral. Hi, Helen. Hi, Jen. I guess I had everybody. Okay, good. Let's scoop the other side. Scoop under. Let it rest. Let gravity take you. Don't fight it. It's exhausting. We only have so much energy. We got to preserve it. Good. Here we go. Scoop. Let it rest. Feel that rotation as your hips are staying forward. Your abs are in, you're breathing. And then you open yourself up as you reach. It's good for those golfers last time. The safest sport right now. No little sport. Nice, you guys. Good. Last time, cat stretch, belly button spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, inhale at the top, and then release. Let's get started. All right, here we go. So, our first set is going to start with the bridge. We love to work the booty. As you know, very important. So here we go. Back into our neutral, hands are relaxed. We're gonna go for three roll-ups. Nice and slow still, no speed. Inhale at the top. This is where we're turning these guys on now. Top of the spine, roll it down, massage that back. If you guys have been with me, you kind of know my style. Uh, I like to loosen up the spine first before we add some lovely footwork. And lower it all the way down. Really try to stretch out those tight spots. Some people are tight in the middle. Some people low back. Really try to open up the spine. Inhale at the top. And exhale. Slowly roll it down. One by one by one. Good job, guys. Now we're going to stay up there. Here we go. Up and hold. All we're doing first is marching. Right leg. Just tabletop. Face down. Left leg. All right, get into your rhythm. You have five on each side. So if you're counting, just close your eyes and count. Don't watch me because I probably won't do 10. I'll probably do, I don't know. Focus on you guys, not counting to 10. Keep going. Now as you're, you know, alternating, I want you to really squeeze the opposite glute. We're going to warm up those hamstrings. All right, that was 10. Keep those hips up. Don't stop now. Right leg, up to the sky, bent, whatever, who cares? You have five circles. Tiny little circles, don't anything else move, reverse it. Now I'm really, really burning my left hamstring, my right leg's just having fun in the sky. Good, place it down. Find your center, take your time. Left leg up, do not have to be completely straight, it could be bent. Small, tiny circles, roll it on the ceiling. Don't let anything move, tiny little circles. Drive through the right heel, right glute. Place it down. Take a big inhale. And slowly roll it down. Very nice, you guys. We're just going to go into regular abs here. So I want you to exhale. You're going to come up. Basic abs, our ab preps. Lower down. We got five. Now, all I'm doing is shortening here. I'm not coming up too high. If this is going into your neck, you just keep your arms wide. Let your head hang heavy. Otherwise, you're here. Yes. Same thing for all of them. Last time, you're really gliding your fingertips towards the toes. Nothing shifting here in my low back. Good. We're going to go into your imprint, that flat back that we do on our hollow hold. Hold legs up in the tabletop. We have five more. Exhale, lift. And lower it down. Exhale, lift. And lower it down. Again, same thing. If you're starting to feel your neck, you start with your hands and then come back. That's okay. The more we do, I don't want it to get into the neck at all. This should be all abs. Exhale, reach. That's four. Exhale, up five. Now, just so we all feel comfortable. 
Hands behind your head. Yes, supporting your neck. All I want you to do is extend those legs out and in. We got four more. Exhale out and in. You start feeling this in your back, and you extend up and in. If you want more of a challenge, you go out and in. Let's go two more. Wherever it feels comfortable, as long as this is flat. You got it. And lower down. Pull those knees in. Rock it side to side. See our warm up set. It's not that bad. I'm just trying to warm you guys up a little bit. Let's turn our arms to our tummies. Double arms. This is that mini uh, cobra, just the small one. So shoulders are down on the way. I know I talked a lot about engaging the abs, whether or not I see it. You're bracing in the abs. So pull the belly button up and lift up. Your leg coming out and not back, pinching your back and lower it down. One more time, shoulders back and lift, lengthen. Feel yourself up here, relaxing the glutes in the lower body and lower it down. Hands down by your side, shoulders back, reach the fingertips to the toes and lower it down. And exhale, lift. And lower it down. Let's go one more. Shoulders back, abs are in, lift. And lower down. Lower body is not working at all. Hands stay on your forehead. Keeping them on your forehead. Head stays in line with the spine. Exhale, lift. And lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. We're going to go two more. I don't care how high it is. You're just working those muscles. Last time. Very nice. We're going to go into this back to the child's pose. So, this is our warm up series. So, this will be good. We're going to do it one more time. So, now you have the flow. A lot of people finally get that they're supposed to feel it if you repeat something. So, I don't usually repeat because I'm selfishly bored, but today I want us to really do it. So, here we go. Back onto our backs, starting with our ridges. Nice flow. We're just going to keep going. We've got three bridges. So peel it up. Do more roll ups. Hold and exhale. Lower it down. Two more like that. Exhale. Press your low back in. Peel it up. Start turning these guys back on. And lower it back down. Really feel the spine. One by one by one. Up and fold. Stay out of the net. And lower it down. Last time, we're going up and holding. Round those heels. We're going to march. Right leg up. Down. Remember, keep your rib cage connected. Don't try to get up so high. Popping everything out. You want to keep everything neutral. Exhale, lift. And you're trying not to shift. Use your tactile touch. Touch those hips. Are you shifting so much? Try and make it small. Keep breathing. Yes. Let's go two more. You got this. Very nice. Stay up. Engage more. A little bit more. Why not? Right leg straight up. Five circles to the right. Focusing on that left heel, left loop. Reverse it. Yes. Place it down. Left leg up. Five circles to the left. Drive through that right heel, right hand straight. Five to the right. Place it down. Take a big inhale up and slowly massage it all the way back down. You've got it staying in neutral now. Hands are down or behind your head. Lift up. Eyes are on the knees, not up at the sky. And lower it down. If you go into the sky, it's going to go right into your neck. Keep the shoulders down. And don't forget to breathe. And exhale. Lift or lift, whatever you want, not too high. Just turning these guys on. Good. Here we go. Legs up and tabletop. Reach it up. And lower it down. Or you go here. Eyes are still focused on the knees. Lift. So now that your back is flat, you can probably get up a little higher. Yes. Last time. Up and hold. Everybody in front of the head. Keep the elbows wide. Touch your head. Okay. Exhale. Five. And in. You either go up. Can, can, whatever you want. Three. You've got two more. Challenge it as long as your back is not arching. we got one extra one for fun because I know you guys are warming up. Yes. Good job. Pull those knees in. Rock it side to side. I forgot to put a fan on here. And the air conditioning is not on, which is a good thing, but 
We're going to be doing deep in Pilates. So get lucky you're not in here. Shoulders down and away. Here we go, mini cobra. Lifting up, lengthening out. Lowering down, we got three, just of this one. Lifting up, breathe, brace those abs. Relax the lower body now. Last one. You got it, changing the leverage. Hands down by your side, palms facing in. Shoulders back, opening up the chest. Lengthen the fingertips to the toes and back down. We got four. Exhale, lift. And lower it down. And exhale, lift. And down. Try and come up a little higher each time. Even if it's a centimeter, I can't even see it. Just challenge yourself. Here we go. Last time, hands on the forehead. Keep them there. Shoulders are relaxed. Exhale, lift. It's harder to lift. As long as you feel those muscles, brace the abs. Relax the lower body. Exhale, lift. We have five of these. Two more. Exhale, lift. And last one. Exhale, lift. Yes. Good job. Let's go ahead and push back to child's pose. Or you can do my famous nugget that I learned. I learned that in yoga. So you can either do child pose, or you can tuck your hands in between your legs and do like a baby pose, which I really feel like helps me open up my low back to breathe. And it's funny because kids do this all the time. So why can't we, right? Good. Do it comfortable. Just breathe into it. Let yourself hang. Let yourself feel grounded. Enjoy this time for you. Because it's going to make you a better you for the other people that go, Mom, 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 Mom. You might not have that. But that is a true, true you. All right. Here we go. Second series. We're going to start with our abs, little rollbacks. Okay. Sitting up nice and tall. You know my fun series. We're going to start basic. No arms, no nothing, just here. Again, if you feel stuff in your neck, you can always cross your arms here to release any upper body you don't want. Otherwise, you're going to challenge it. Going past that tailbone as long as your feet stay flat. Always grab here if you need to. Hold. We'll roll it right back up. We have two more just like that. Exhale. We'll roll it down. Yes. And roll it back up. We have three more, just like that. So I want you again, just warming up. And roll it up. My shoulders are relaxed, my eyes are always forward. And you're just keeping your weight heavy. If you go far back and also your legs lift up, you know you're going too far. Last time, exhale, we we'll roll it back. Can you hold it, can you hold it, can you hold it? Are you holding it with me? Five, four, three, two, go like that, it's fine. Curl it up. You got it. Now we're going full roll downs for five. Exhale, one by one by one. So again, if roll downs are not good for you, you can stick with half roll backs, just like we were doing, and do five more of those. Inhale up to the sky. We have a preference of straight legs or bent. No momentum. Take your time. Roll it. Enjoy a little stretch. Now I want you to stay fluid. Just constant movement. If you're not going at the same exact pace as me, that's okay. Maybe challenge it and go slower. I just have so much I want to do with you guys. Trying to probably do a little faster than I should. Give yourself a nice stretch. Yes. So if you need to grab behind your legs at some point, you get stuck. But we're only doing five. This is three. Make it even slower. Tap the chin. Try and just use those abs. Feel those guys. Right through that. Stretch. Is that three or four? See, this is why I can't talk to you. We're going to go two more just for fun. Inhale up to the sky, tuck the chin. Just keep moving, moving, and breathing. Yes, and last one, we're going to actually stay down, so that works out well. So whether or not it goes five and a half. Very nice. Take a nice deep breath. I want you to reach your fingertips away from you and reach your toes away from you. Something you should feel like you know, on bed. Lengthen away like soldiers. Yes, big stretch. We're going to make you taller and taller after this series. All right, on to our tummies. So as you see, I like to make sure that you have a flexion and then an extension because you guys do so much flexion uh, in life. So as much as we don't like this kind of stuff, you're here with me doing it. YWAs, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, we are going to go up for your Y. W, lat pull, extend, tricep. Y, 
W, activate those lats, triceps. Pretend you have weights in your hands. If the Y hurts you, you can do a W, right? Do what your shoulders are saying, okay, do. Y, W, extend. Again, nice and controlled. My abs are still engaged. They're braced. They're trying to stay off the mat, and my lower body is heavy in the mat. Now, I'm not counting, but we're supposed to be doing 10. So I'm gonna go with five more. Y, thumbs up all the time, right? That's a neutral grip, and then your tricep extension. This is four. W lat, tricep. Three. W, oh, sorry, Y, I don't even know my letters now, W. Yes, we have two more. Y, W, yes, last time. Y, W. Squeeze those triceps. Pretend there's like 100 pounds in there. Good. And relax. Beautiful. Now, last time we didn't get to do two series, but I've learned I'm really hot. I hope you guys are getting warmer. We're going to go into side series now. We're going to get two series of this. So they're going to be quicker. But they're just very important because we don't get that kind of stuff in any of our other workouts. So I feel obligated, and that's my pleasure, to burn the booty in a different way. Here we go. Everybody's like this. If you don't have a padded mat or anything, you can put a blanket underneath. Otherwise, we are here. Now, if this is uncomfortable and you have any issues with wrists or shoulders, just lay on your side and you can do it like we usually do it. Here we go. Top leg. I want everything parallel to me. Your hand can be here or here. All right? I want you to engage the lat. Really pull it down. Yes, push away from the mat. You're going to lift and lower. Now, I'm not turned out. If I was turned out, this is like, hey, but I want you to be parallel. Yes. I think we're going to do about eight, maybe 10. Just join me. Exhale as we lift. But you're really pulling up in here. So your obliques are working, your shoulders and lats, little tie muscles. Yeah, we're going to go two more. See, I like to turn out. This is really hard. I'm noticing that. Up and hold. Hand here. Tiny little circles. 10 forward, tiny little circles. They will burn immediately, as I'm experiencing. Here we go, reverse it. Don't give up on it. Yes, tiny circles. Keep lifting up, your light as a feather. Bend and extend the knee. The knee stays in the level. You guys take your former classes with me, we do this on the box and you all love me. Yes, we're going for 10. This is five. Keep going, keep pulling up, light as a feather. Don't feel heavy on that knee. Breathe, two more, yes, beautiful. Sit into that hip a little bit, and of course we have to do the other side. You see, you don't need much, you feel it right away, right? Unless you're just amazing, I feel it right away, so you're lucky you get to, you get to stop, because I'm dying. Okay, here we go. Line up, knee and hip, wrist and shoulder, find your balance, arm here if you can, parallel, lift, and lower, breathe it out. Shoulders are relaxed, stay tall, light on that right knee. See, I can do this all the time, right? Yes. We need two more. See, I can't tell you stories on this because it's very important to count. Hands on your waist, tiny little circles. Tiny, nothing else moves. Abs are in. Reverse the other way. We've got this. Abs are in, shoulders relaxed. Don't let anything else help you. Last thing, knee extend. Like a kickboxing. Breathe. Yes, halfway done. Keep lifting, light as a feather. Eight, two more. Nine. Gosh, I love that. Third job. See, that was a nice little burner. Ah, so that was your fun series. A little bit more challenging, but now we're going to add some arms for your half rollbacks. Just have a little bit more fun, a little variety. So we're starting back with the half rollbacks, yes? Nice and tall. Everybody with me? You can hydrate. I forget to say that. So let's hydrate. Come on. I never let anybody take breaks. I forget. But it's a hot one. So hydrate. Okay, there you go. Good job. Back to work. Breathe, relax the shoulders, half roll back. Here we go, arms. Right arm, left arm, 
both arms. Stay in this half, half roll back. Here we go. Right arm, you need to come up or just hold it. You don't have to move your arms. We're just kind of giving your arms something to do to distract you. Right arm, keep breathing. Shoulders relaxed, keep those abs tight. I'm not going that high. I can see my hands. It's a diagonal. I'm not shooting them over my head. Yes, hopefully your hands are starting to feel it. Right arm, this is your last set. Left arm, both arms, roll it up. How fun is that? Oh, you want to do it again? Okay, here we go. Roll it down. Yes? Stay here. If you need to come up a little higher because you're starting to feel your back, that's okay. You'll still feel things. Or challenge it. Right leg. All we're doing is marching, just like we do the bridges. Challenge, squeeze. Again, if this bothers you, you just hold. We got 10, five on each side. Six, you've got it, four more. Keep drawing that belly button in. Shoulders relax, looking straight ahead. No tension anywhere. Knee flat, roll it up. Beautiful, last time into those obliques. Half roll back. Clasp those hands together. Yes. Focus, oblique, squeeze it. Turn those guys on. Yeah, two more. Breathe. Last time. Good, roll it up. Ah, good job. Now we're gonna go into our straight leg sit-ups or bent leg, whatever you feel. And we're gonna go into some obliques too. So here we are, roll it down. Two, three, four, five. Still going, six. Seven straight legs. Now remember, try to be fluid. Inhale, bring your tips up. Tuck the chin. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To the right. Eight, seven. We're going to oblique. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath. Reach those fingertips to the right. Pinky toe. Tuck the chin. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. It stinks when people count, huh? Stay with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Squeeze it. Three, two, one. Take a breath. Fingertips up. Coming up. Tuck that chin. Reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, right leg and left leg one more time. To the right, right knee to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your time, breathe. Fingertips up, tuck the chin, eight, seven, right knee to toe, six, five, no momentum, four, three, two, one. Last time, down, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Breathing, you gotta come up, you gotta pull it out. To the left pinky toe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. How fun is that? This means we count a whole entire time. It's not my favorite thing to do, but it works. So, thank you for staying with me. Moving on, you already did your WYs, I got that backwards. We're gonna go right into Superman's. So now your lower body is going to be activated. Toes turned out and separated. Belly button still up and engaged. Thumbs are up. If your shoulders hurt with straight arms, W's are fine. Do what's comfy. Here we go. Or gold pose, whatever you want. Here we go. Exhale, lift. Lower, don't touch the floor. That's it. Lift and lower. Exhale, breathe. Exhale, up. You've got this. Keep those abs engaged. Just our body weight, it's all good. It doesn't matter how high you come. Let's go four more because they're fun. Keep breathing, three, two, last one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Stay here, lower a little bit, halfway, but not to the ground. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Tiny little movements. We're swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Keep swimming, don't drown, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Fabulous, right into child's pose. Sit back, stretch it out. And yes, we are doing our side series in a different way. I think I'm okay on time. 
Good job, guys. So hopefully you're starting to glow, or you're just watching me and laughing at me, but that's not cool. You are glowing anyway. Here we go. Lying on our side, like we usually do. Stack it up slightly forward with those feet. We just have 10. We're going to lift it and lower it, right? Shoulders relaxed. Lift and lower. If for some reason this is bothering you, you can just lift your legs, okay? But we're going to lift everything right now. Lift and lower. Fish out of water. Exhale, lift. Tactile touch. Feel it. Squeeze it. Exhale, up. Exhale, lift. Up. Up. Two more. Last time. You got it. Top hand in front if you want more support or here to challenge your core. Top leg comes up just like we did. Tiny little circle. Right? So this here is tactile touch for you to see if your pelvis is trying to go with your leg. So they can be tiny, tiny, tiny. Let's go to reverse it the other way. Keep breathing, keep your shoulders relaxed, your neck is relaxed, You're just sleeping on your side. And forward. Keep going. And last time, backwards. Damn a little nice promise. Thank you for a second time. Good. We know our last one. Here we go. Hand in front. Top leg up. Flex the foot. Rotate it down and ride it down. Inhale up. Flex the foot. Turn it in. Yes. So you're only lifting it as high as you can without rolling back. Everything is pointed towards me. It's squaring those hips, thighs, knees, and toes. Up. Flex, if you don't feel this, lift that leg up higher. Enjoy the burn. Flex, turn it in, 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 in. It's the only time you should be fitting there. Flex, in. Let's go four more. Up, breathe. Upper body is just sleeping. Three, flex, turn it in. Two more. Up, flex, turn it. Last time, up, flex it up, turn it in, and hold. And little pulse. A little bit, right? You have to finish strong. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, good job. I just added that, you know, a little fun. Good job. Okay, that got the movie. Let's switch it over to the other side. Comfy. Not complaining, right? Bodies in yoga and stretching, we usually lay down a lot. Slightly forward with the lower body. Relaxing here. All up. Shoulder relaxed and lower back down. Tactile touch, feel it. And back down. Exhale, lengthen fingertips to the toes. And breathe. My head is in line with the spine, it's not tweaking around here. Lift. And exhale, these are good. This is just like side plank. You have problems with your shoulders, elbows. Don't worry, there's always modifications. Two more. You lift it. And down, last time. And down, good job. Top hand in front for support or on your hip bone. Tiny little surface. And breathe, do the sleeping and just focus on that leg. You know what, keep the energy through the toes. Reach them away from the body. You don't want to just be hanging out. Reverse it the other way. Tiny little circles, breathe. Forward again, last set, forward and back. Keep your abs in, you don't have to get too relaxed. And last time, reverse it. Good job, you guys, keep it up. Our favorite part's coming, here we go, top up, flex, turn it in. Let's go to your happy place, know that this is good. It's swimsuit season, whether or not you can social distance, you can swim, it's safe to be in the pool and the beach. Just don't want to do the country. <laughs> Keep breathing, relax it, turn it in. We're working all those tiny little intrinsic muscles. You're like, how do we get right there? Right? So many people say that. Guess what, guys? It's the fun side series. The fun one that nobody wants to do. Now I was talking to you last count. Two more. Flex, turn it in. Here we go. Up. Relax, turn it in, hold, pulse it. 10, 9, 
eight, three, seven, six, five, four, three, feel the burn, two, and one. Breathe it in and bring it in. Fantabulous. It's rocked it. I hope you feel all those little butt muscles tomorrow and be like, thank you, Vanessa. So I'm moving it out by myself. I want to do that too. The fact that I have to do that for you. I do extra because I want you guys to feel extra good. All right. Breathe. This is your water break. Right? Oh, hey, I'm setting time. Breathe. Now the rest of it, because I always have to have time to stretch, is just a one series thing. So we're going to do an abs, push up, and then plank, stretch. So no more multiple series. So let's just have some fun. Because we can't forget about the abs series. You know the fun one. Here we go. Back on the back. Now, real quick modifications. Always hollow hold so you're flat back the whole time, right? No arching in your low back. In between series, you grab the hand of your legs, pull yourself up, right? Use your arms. That's the cheating, it's a good thing. Your neck should be relaxed. Or hands are always behind your head. Or you can keep your head down and do all these movements. But I must say, it's a little harder to keep your hollow hold, your back flat, if you're not flexed up. So do whatever makes your abs feel killer and not your back. Yes? No? Make so. Here we go. Up. Single leg. Nice. And slow. Extend it. Extend it. Yes, that's all we're doing. So again, my back feels tight, so I'm going to go up here, right? Or I'm going to go low. Or I'm starting to lift my neck. Right? Or I just want to do this because I'm tired. So I give you four different ways of whatever you want to do. Keep going. It's one of the new ones that you got to do 100 of everything. You got it. Let's go four. Exhale three. Exhale two. Keep going. One. Break time. Pull it in or relax it down. Whatever you got. We're going to go right into bicycle. Same exact thing, adding the upper body. Hands behind the head, nice and controlled. Elbow wide, shoulder to knee, back to center. Exhale wide, back to center. Breathe out as you rotate. Feel those obliques. Yes, again, I can go up if your back is tight. I just want to go here, yes? Or you want to challenge it to keep your back flat. No arching. Good, I think we have about 80 more. Just keep going. I'm just kidding, but you're doing good. You got it. Four more. Four. Exhale, three. Remember quality over quantity. Two more. Two. Last one. Yes. Third time. Here, or relax your head, whatever you want. Going right into your scissors. This is our stretching. We're multitasking. Pull, pull, stretch. Your legs don't touch the floor. Pull, pull. Nice little tug, don't kill yourself. Just a little stretch. Now you can do this, right? I can just do this. Or I can do this. And maybe I need to go a little smaller because my back arches when I lower my back or when I lower my leg. Yes, there you go. Keep going. Breathe. As you breathe out, pull the belly button into the mat. Keep engaging those abs. Hopefully you're getting more flexible as we're doing this. Four. Keep breathing. Three, two, you got it, last one. Great time. And relax the head down. Good job, guys. Last one is lower lift to the legs. If you want to support your back, you can put your hands underneath your tailbone. So you really uh, just remind yourself of that part. But we're going to go single, single, double, and you get to go with my panting. So enjoy it. Here we go. Right leg lowers, back up, relax your shoulders. Back up, we're going down for four. Exhale, do not arch that back. Two, three, four, use those abs. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Right leg, exhale, left leg. For four, going one, two, three, four, coming up. Two, two, three, four. Right leg, exhale, left leg. You got this, down. Two, take your time, feel those abs. You're gonna go that low. 
Where do you feel it? Just hold it there. Three, four. We got two more sets. Right leg. Exhale, left leg. We got four. Counting four. Three, two, one. Exhale, four. Three, two, one. Upper body is relaxed. This is your last set. Left leg. Here we go. Down one. Two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Bring it up. Two, three, four. That was fun. Not really. Ha <laughs> ha. That was good. Rock it side to side. Shake your head. Relax everything. Beautiful fun series. Go ahead. Grab behind those legs. Roll it up. Perfect. You better be blowing because I'm blowing. I got my fan is over there and I won't take a break. Just turn it on, but I will take a break to take a drink. Okay, five sets. We're good at this now. This is the eccentric push up, right? So you're going down two, three, four, five. Superman hold two, three, four, five. Bring it back. Okay, so we're not coming all the way up. And if those of you say no, thank you, you can hold the plank or a hollow hold, but it's just an eccentric push up and just do what feels good to you. Line your shoulders and this up. Squeeze that booty, zip those thighs. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend it. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Do whatever you can to get right back up. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, one. Extend it up. Thumbs up. Five. Head and run with the spine. Four, three, two, one. Keep breathing. You are only at three more. Here we go. Down five. Four. Squeeze that butt. Three, two, one. Drop it down gracefully. Five, four, three, two, one. We have two more. No problem. Here we go. Line it up. Squeeze everything you got. Five, four, three, Two, one, drop it, lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Last time. Make it good. It's got to count. One, two, three, four, five, and lift. Two, three, four, five. You got it. Push back to child's pose. You're good on time. Stretch here, breathe, let yourself fall to the floor. Try to breathe through the belly as it's pushing into your legs. And breathe out through your mouth, in through your nose. Three breaths. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. Sit on your left heel as you walk your hands over to the right. Take that hand over and try and go as far as you can. Stretch through the lat, breathe through that area. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale, straighten up through your legs, up through your mouth. Let's see. You got me right now. Here we go. Sit on that right heel, walk your hands all the way to the left. Take that right hand, cross over the left a little further. Yes, good job. All right, so because we did planks, I'm gonna rest our wrists and we're gonna just, our push up, we're gonna finish with the plank series. So I wanna kind of tell you, I usually just jump them into it. But all we're gonna do, I'll do it once. Your forearms are in line, basic plank, right? All I want you to do is you're gonna tap your right leg out, then your left leg out, and then you're gonna rotate right, bring it back, find your center, left, bring it back. Now, if anybody needs a modification, just hold your plank, you know, toe taps, and on each side, but we're just going to do five rounds. Um, and again, do what feels good. I, I want to challenge you guys a little bit, but um, yeah, it's not about getting hurt. It's just about working. Here we go. On the forms. Elbows and shoulders in line. Squeeze the booties at the thighs. You tap it, right foot. Then you tap your left foot. Squeeze. You're going to rotate. Rotate. You just cross. Back to center. Rotate. Look up at that side if you can't. Find a plank, center it again, right foot. Left foot, breathe, rotate, look at the sky. Here we go, rotate, a little rotate, here we go. That was two, right leg, left leg, or just hold. 
Rotate. Breathe. Rotate. We have two more sets. Here we go. Right leg. Squeeze. Push away from the floor. Left leg. Good. Rotate. Yes. Rotate. You did it. Drop down. Push back. Pat yourself on the back. You did it. All cool down from here. Fantabulous job. I'm going to work on those hips a little bit. And make sure that you feel amazing when you leave here. So we're going to start on our knees. Again, if you need a blanket or extra padding, grab a blanket or something. We're just going to go half kneel. I'm going to start with my left leg in front. So if you guys can do left leg in front so I can talk to you through it. You're just going to squeeze your right glute and lean into that left leg, right? You, just, you shouldn't have to go too far. You should feel this. I want you to really tuck under in the pelvis and try to lengthen this nice deep hip flexor muscle. Once you're comfortable there, I want you to reach your right arm up. There is left leg. Is up. Uh-oh. I lost you guys. Keep going. Hold it there. Okay, you're back. Here we go. Nice, you guys. Okay. Staying in this tall kneeling. Coming back. I want your hands behind your head. I don't know if you can see me. Hands behind the head. Left leg here. You're going to rotate towards the left leg. So I want you to rotate like you're going to get out of the washcloth, stay tall, rock your elbow towards your hip, and come back, but stay where you're at. Inhale, rotate a little further, elbow to hip, and stay, come back. So stay where you are. I'm just facing you so you can see me. My left leg's up. I'm here. So I'm rotating even further, drop my elbow down to the floor, and back. Stay where I'm at and rotate, keeping it up, up, up. Rotate more. Drop that elbow, just try and get back as far as you can. Come back to center one more time. Inhale, rotate. Stay tall. Drop the elbow. Back to center. Yes? Hopefully you guys got that. It's easier to show you right now. Good, so let's switch it up. Everybody stay with me. Right leg in front. Squeeze that left glute. Yes? Don't change with me. I'm just changing with you so you can see what's going on. Squeeze that glute. Pull it under so that you're lengthening through here. Right leg goes a little further, so you can kind of lean in. Breathe into that. I know it's tight. We sit. We sit. So breathe. There's no way that this hip flexor is not tight for anybody. Take that left hand, reach it up to the sky, lengthen, and breathe. Stay tall. And sink a little further as you breathe out. Feel your body, listen to your body, and go with it. And now to fight it, if it wants to drop a little more, let it drop. You got this. Nice. Come back up, staying tall. Okay? I'm going to just face you. You stay there. There we go. My right knee is in front. My hand's behind my head. I'm going to rotate towards that right knee, drop my elbow down to the ground, and come back up, staying where I'm at. So I'm rotating a little further each time. Being how tall. You're not that washcloth. Elbow down to the floor. Back to center. This is a lot of core work, too. You gotta hold yourself up. Rotate even further. Elbow down. Come back up. Again. Inhale, rotate. Try to look at the back wall. Who cares if it doesn't happen? But it's imagery. Last time. Inhale, rotate. Down. Up. Back to center. Good. It's a good little uh, T spine mobility, golfing, just anything. We're very tight up there. And then, of course, we have to do my favorite, the hip one. So we're going to go 90-90, right? Everybody's here with me. So again, let me talk you through it. Right leg's 90 degrees, left leg back. First, we're just going to stretch. I want you to go chest over your knee, and I want you to just flex. So you're going to walk it out. Walk your knees out. Walk it out. And just let gravity take you and stretch. Do what's comfortable. Again, okay, you want to stay here. Keep lengthening through the spine. You want to drop down, breathe in. Feels all in the right hip, right glute. The longer you stay, the more your body stops fighting and just lets you go into it. And I know I sent that video of wall stretches, but if you ever put like a nice playlist on and you just lay there doing your wall stretches and breathe, the longer you hold that, the more your body is just going to really enjoy the stretch. Just like foam rolling. You do it so quick, you're not going to get it, right? Okay, here we go. Walking into the right and down again. 
Right forearm on the ground, left arm up to the sky. Lengthen it, reach it. Here we go. Inhale, look up at the sky, open the chest. Exhale, look down at that hand. Stretch, fingertips, try to reach the back wall. Inhale, up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, up. Be further and further every time. Exhale. Yes. All right. We're going to go into our little hip thing before we switch over to the side. Arms here or arms here. Out of the way. Ready? Remember this? Roll back. And go into the other end. Yeah? Now, you will be moving. Roll back. Go the other end. So you can see this one's probably a lot easier. And the left one's like, wait, you didn't stretch me yet. But you're going to be crawling towards me. Get that. Open those hips up. Drive it down. I'm coming closer to you. Let's do the last one. We'll stay there. Yeah. Love that hip mobility. Here we go. We're 90 90 now. Face the other way. Don't worry. You forget about them. 90 90. Yes. Here we go. Climb it over. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Not collapse and breathe. When you breathe, feel your tummy expand on your leg if you're there. Expand and lower. One more time. Good job. Continue to crawl to the left. Get your left forearm on the ground. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Reach to the back wall. Inhale up to the sky. Exhale, look it down. Look it down. You make sense. Inhale up. And exhale, rotate. One more time. Keep reaching further and further every time. Energy through the fingertips. Yes. And roll it back up. Good job. Finishing the little butterfly. Everybody's here. Opening up those hips. If you want to make it more challenging, you draw your heels in closer to you. If you feel like a nice diamond is good, that is good too. And again, let's just kind of relax over. Let your head hang heavy. Three deep breaths. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Every time you do that, release the shoulders, release the face muscles. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly stack the spine up. And good job, you guys. You can always come back to this, which is a good thing if you didn't do it or you couldn't do it. Um, I wish you a happy, happy, safe fourth. Go we'll have fun with your family if you can. Get outside. And um, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. I know I'm going to be reaching out to the Pilates people, see what we can do. Uh, I don't mind virtually, but I would love to see you in person. So maybe outside. I don't know. We'll figure this out. But happy fourth. I miss you guys. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.